Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna be upgrading my uh, hard drive. Actually, just uh, let me turn this pocket two thing. I mounted on a hmm, gorilla thingy, so it's gonna get me very, very nice, sturdy platform, so I can use both hands. So basically, this is my uh, the brand new brand new uh, computer which already needs kind of upgrading it doesn't really needs upgrading doesn't need upgrading actually but the thing is it uh, has uh, 500 and as you can see 512 actually it has only hmm, let me see here 494 460 gigabyte and it's already used if you put a couple of projects and you use a 4k uh, video it's it ends up uh, pretty much full quickly so today let me see this thing I decided to go with this thing here which is Samsung SSD 980 NVMe M.2 SSD. It's one terabyte and it's really promising and it's gonna give me upgrade to my existing 512 gigabytes which already came installed in the box in the computer itself. So as you can see, that's the that's the hard drive, SSD hard drive over there. There is no mm -hmm. it's very thin. And it doesn't have um, doesn't have any uh, software which supposed to help you transferring to this one to the computer that's why I decide to go directly to the data migration uh, Samsung site samsung.com and just download version data migration software and open when done we're gonna do that English United States it's gonna help me to help with the process of upgrading my, my hard disk accept of course you have to accept if you don't accept I'm gonna lift this up a little bit yeah. install and that software is gonna help us do this thing, this thing. finish mm -hmm. let's see this it asks you for the let me, I should put the bar down it's too much light it's reflecting local disk select a drive okay now it's time to open this thing here hope it's gonna be clean to read so I don't have to read out everything but it says that it's the latest latest generation USB 3.2 and that thing was expensive itself $80 Canadian and uh, this thing was 120 on sale SSD 980 <laughs> but I didn't have a choice because they sold out everything which requires M.2 slot and I wanted to take advantage of the best and latest uh, hardware software combination let's see what's inside we get thermal page 
you get some mm -hmm. and you get instruction of course and you get the USB cable let's open it nicely there you go it's much easier when you don't have to struggle with the holding camera USB to USB normal cables and that thing is sturdy it's really nice and it has they said it has toolless operation so basically you just take this apart I hope by removing these screws putting it aside I guess pulling this out mm -hmm. oh, okay sliding this thing here wait a minute oh it just lifts up wait a minute goes like that and lifts up like that and now we're gonna take this bad boy and just plug it inside right that's the inside of the thing I'm not gonna be applying any thermal paste for now because I just want to see how hot it's gonna get okay that's opposite it's hard to check on the screen do you record everything and uh, to see is this done correctly so you go like this and put it down and even this is that's it what no way hmm. wait a minute cannot be like that easy it's supposed to be a screw holding it but it says that you don't need any tools to assemble it correctly mm -hmm. let's see this Mm -hmm. it works for all of them short one 2230 2240 2280 2260 okay a and b so there is a pack unlock normal unlock and v m e lock mm -hmm. so that's n v m e lock i'm not quite sure is it the right thing but let's see let's see is it working so you're just gonna be plugging this thing here and plugging this thing here let's see is it gonna be working mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, it works. It has a green light here, and it works. So, duplicate OS select the drive. Samsung target drive. Let's start again. Let's see. Is this? No, we need to first go to mm -hmm. mm, task manager. Actually, disk manager, right? Create informations. Mm hmm that seems to be we first have to find this one that's a 930 150 properties unallocated new simple volume welcome to the new simple volume plus that's the minimum disk space okay nine five 
we're gonna go with the assign the following driver just D just D and we're gonna go NTF S What's wrong? Empty folder. Mm -hmm. No, actually, it needs to be like this. And now NTFS system, new volume. Mm, we're gonna put main drive, main drive disk. And you're gonna put like the disk. main disk okay NTFS formatting and it's recognized now and disk management now when it's recognized we can go and check here yeah and it says main disk recognized and it has 1 billion 1 86 million three hundred and ten thousand six hundred and fifty six bytes or nine hundred and thirty one gigabyte use space one thirty one megabyte or one three seven nine eight one nine five two bytes okay now when it's when it's recognized we're gonna go here <sighs> I don't know what is this circling still okay yes Samsung Halo selected drive. That's the original drive. MZ VLQ5 one two so five hundred and twelve gigahertz Halo zero zero. And now we're gonna select a target drive. That's a four hundred and sixty gigabyte drive one capacity. Mm hmm local disk select the drive that's it mm -hmm. no, what is why well, it doesn't open all the way hmm it seems like I don't see it Mm -hmm. Duplicates OS data stored in the original, on the original storage, the new Samsung SSD. Well, how can I go further? Doesn't open all the way. That's kind of okay. Okay. So start. Information help. Do 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 do. Nine hundred and fifty three two ninety nine two ninety nine. Okay. Fairly easy. You press start. Your computer will be shut down after data migration in 20 seconds. When cloning starts, all data on the target drive will be deleted and cannot be recovered. Wow. Okay, okay. On source out there often cannot be cloned. So files on the source out there are cannot. And you want to continue. Okay. And it started. So, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna keep this thing rolling. Right now, well, my battery is 52% remaining. Okay, and it should be working. Like that thing is blinking, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. It's blinking. Mm -hmm. And it works here. It's five, three, four, six, nine, five, eight, five, nine. Okay. Let's see. Now it's a fifteen thirty one. So four thirty or three thirty afternoon. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, one percent. So it's gonna take a while. We have about uh, two hundred and ninety nine gigabyte from 460 
we have 299 to copy on exactly so like copy it migrate it to 950 gigabyte the new hard drive here and then we're gonna open it open the computer with this thing here I bought specifically for opening tablets and laptops it's very nice and neat has this special like a pentalobe torque hex three wing I have never seen this one three zero and three one <laughs> keys or wrenches I should I should say small wrenches oh, ah. see you get that you get all these things here and plus you get this thing which is important if you want to pry it nicely if you want to pry it open you need this thing here come on it doesn't cooperate you have this thing here so to save your nails and not to do any damage when you pry it open you know tablet or laptop and you have these tools you even have this thing here which is very very accurate very tiny and very accurate so let's see how we're gonna do that meantime it's six percent so as you can see it's gonna take a while I think this is estimated time yeah it says 48 41 it changes about 40 minutes 42 minutes right now here so 42 minutes until we get this done completely transferred original software for Samsung to original Samsung from original Samsung SSD hard drive and when when we finish that then we're gonna just swap these SSD uh, drives and it should be done now around 8% 42 minutes left says here shows here 43 42 43 minutes and right now it's eight percent so we're gonna just wait for it to finish or close to it and then we're gonna continue recording and there you go this is my easy setup with gorilla thingy okay now it's 89 percent so you can see that the speed is really really fast 156 megabyte per second so this connection through the USB-C it's not even Thunderbolt it's a uh, pretty fast 89% and this number here shows actually the the show time like how much it should take like 34 minutes because it's right now it's uh, over 30 minutes and 156 megabyte per second that's that's very fast let's check it with the task manager uh, yeah the disk speed 62 percent 164 170 160 167 megabyte per second that's that's a lot that's really a lot for the memory right and that's about right and <clears throat> one now it's 157 megabyte per second through this short cable and connection that's amazing amazing speed and uh, considering that the 12.5 12.5 uh, megabyte is roughly 100 megabits per second when you do 4k at 100 megabits per second that's a 12.5 megabyte a second and this is 150 seven megabyte per second that's a lot so when it's done in a couple of minutes so 33 57 58 it shows and now it shows here 32 minutes 94 percent that the whole thing from the inside of the sd inside sd ssd card solid state drive should be on this one with the double uh, capacity and probably hopefully a little bit more speed I did some uh, tests uh, editing and the rendering uh, one movie 
I did recently and uh, I took a picture like a screen print picture from finish when I finished pro uh, uh, the movie then uh, when I finish physically installing then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the same movie again test and I did some benchmarks just to compare uh, instead of just the <clears throat> hard drive space did I get any performance uh, improvements with this upgrade hopefully I will get some improvements too 95% okay yeah in the meantime while I was waiting for this I just uh, realized how it's easy to unlock and lock NVMe lock normal lock and uh, that thermal paste you should use eventually but for now we're gonna be just concentrating on swapping the hard drives or SSD hard drives because we just add plus we're gonna get extra extra uh, hard drive um, enclosure actually external hard drive still 95 oh now it's slowing down right 150 megabyte per second instead of 157 it was 155 hold on hold it oh, like 30 minutes and the last two minutes it went down slightly because it's kind of getting closer to finishing 149 megabyte per second mm -hmm. so wants to finish nice and secure and safe and that's important for us too because this thing is pretty hot no wonder it has that that uh, ribs and uh, radiation cooling aluminum very nice and cold to touch yeah that's it's really nice enclosure no wonder it's expensive yeah it went down 149 so we're gonna see is it gonna stay that way 34 minutes here it says now 35 50 so 36 almost 97 percent well we're just gonna continue and see how that's gonna be in the meantime i can talk a little about this because in the morning i uh, had extra time on my hands and then i disassembled my old cd drive and i just uh, decided to keep this so i have firewire and usb a connection to the parallel old type parallel hard drive cd okay which uh it's not working anymore so i just took my time a little bit of this that's a brushless brushless motor right from cd drive has magnets and has a stator it's a brushless cd drive motor <laughs> that's this thing here <laughs> i did it because it reads only only reads uh, dvd drives not uh, not even the double and not even m disk so 4.7 gigabyte per disk is a reading capability and writing and then that's why i just uh dismantled it and just kept a couple of pieces see 3650 3630 so it's 99 percent 145 slower even the lower down that's it it seems to be done but not completely mm -hmm. the numbers are the same here but it still shows like working time so it's probably just finishing everything yeah it's still blinking so it does work a little bit more now i just finished 143 megabit per second megabyte per second so it's lower even takes a little bit time to finish but that's good and the battery power is 38 percent which is good 
anyway we before opening we need to shut it down ideally we should be cutting off uh, battery too but oh has been interrupted for unknown reason that's not good my god is it me for unknown reason wow 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 that's not good so it didn't do anything data migration has been interrupted for unknown reason that's not good wow i will have to do it one again because this is not good maybe it's me touching it all the time but no no well no. and there's a light here i don't know well i'm gonna have to do it one more time whole process and then we will see hopefully it's not gonna be this red thing we'll see there you go it works again ah this time it shows only 30 29 minutes of the 16 percent and four minutes so about 34 minutes again okay 185 megabyte a second that's very very fast I'm not gonna touch it this time because I, I think what I did I introduced some static problems hopefully and I this time I put it uh, completely in in it uh, its case like it should because it was very hot to touch maybe it just crashed and in, in the last percent 99 percent let's hope this was really true and that was overheating issue and let's hope that this time is going to be much much better actually safer and that we can continue with our upgrade let's hope hi again as a matter of fact i'm pretty sure uh, i introduced the cooking instead of working conditions let's see this this to touch now it's warm but this is completely in this uh, protective and cooling uh, casing look at the speed over 200 201 megabyte a second and it's working really good so i introduced the throttling due to the overheat so i cooked it uh, on the first mission i hope i didn't uh killed it so much from the i mean longevity uh, point of view because look at now 202 a 34 percent and it's a 299 going on 915 gigabyte free again from the beginning but now it runs much faster and much cooler so 202 megabyte a second at 35 percent uh, let's hope this time is gonna be good because I think I really did killed it <laughs> And 2844 at 185 megabyte per second. Come on, has to finish nice. Must. So 30 minutes. Still six minutes sooner than the last time. And hopefully successful ah <gasps> wow i don't know what's going on literally i don't know what's going on this is not good second time so it's not overheating problem something that migration function has been interrupted for an unknown reason i don't know what is the reason but it's it's really disappointing see i bought this drive extra and it's not overheating problem 39940 now but um, it still didn't finish I don't know what to do I will have to figure out but it's not a good idea it's not good at all hello hello after so many hours trying to find a solution I finally realized after uh, reading online uh, some other reviews and uh, problems people uh, posted online actually I realized that is a really poorly written software program from the 
Samsung, unfortunately. I'm this deeply disappointed because Samsung didn't write it good. F maybe that for this particular card. But I, I think other people said also they had the problems with a stack at 99%. So it's not too hot. It's not anything about the hardware. It's a software problem. And finally, I found a solution. I went and downloaded and paid 113 Canadian dollars <laughs> to use this Paragon hard disk manager 17 suit disk and volumes and uh, I think this is gonna be working very good right now it's doing the same thing like the Samsung data migration software supposed to do but it never finished let's see how long is it gonna take now it's uh, 10 so I started like five minutes ago probably like a 15 to 8 and we'll see how it works because the layout looks very good and it recognized everything. I thought it's maybe the driver problem from this this uh, enclosure, Vantech. But actually, uh, people said, no, there is a problem of the performing actually the program. So we will see how it's gonna fare with this problem. I know it's gonna be done nicely. But it's gonna cost me, it did cost me $120 Canadian more. <laughs> oh well. There you go. At least this bar is coming to an end. So right now I think it's processing partition number four. Copying volume is the next. Mm hmm. Let's see. That's about 20, uh, 15 minutes. It's working on this. Still unallocated. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Performance test. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Whatever it does, the result is important. doesn't write anything so it's still copying mm. performance test and that's the last all operation have been finished that's the last one so we're gonna see did I waste my money of course I could have got uh, gotten a free version of the same hard disk manager paragon hard disk manager 17 suit but then uh, it would be trimmed i would be uh, lacking some other features i wanted to have all features and that's why i opted for the uh, full version the hard disk has been successfully copied Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. 457. Unallocated. Let's see this. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. The disk is copied. Mm-hmm. So it, it seems like he finished. Okay.
but 460, 460. That's unallocated. Great volume. Great volume. Mm -hmm. Looks great now. Creating new volume of that 457 57 unallocated updating system. Creating new file system. Mm -hmm. So it did copy this from disk inside to this disk here. And now I just want to create that whatever is left which is 457 gigabyte from 460, which was copied. I want this to be useful. So it has to be showing up here, right? 455, mm-hmm. And it's NTFS 488, 454. And that's a local disk. Mm -hmm. So is it possible to? Not yet. Finalizing changes, please wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll wait. When it finali finalizes, then I'm gonna just take this one and swap it for this one physically inside. The volume has been successfully created. That's the thing. That's the whole thing. Close. Okay. So we have a physical copy of this and this. And plus we have a new new volume. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get out. And let's see. No, not that. Let's see. When I physically open it, is it going to be working? It shows only 454 gigabyte. Uh, is it right? Hmm? Maybe I should have... Hmm. <laughs> uh, See, 460, 460, 850, 850, everything, and plus new volume. Healthy boot, healthy boot. Yep, yeah. 931, healthy. Well, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to do that. We will see what's going to happen. Okay. We're going to shut it down. And then we're going to proceed to physically swapping this guy. And to see, is it going to boot? <laughs> okay. Let's go. We kill the power. How are we gonna do this? Go from behind. Uh, we will have to open this guy here. See? It's relatively easy. Mm, use this. Actually, I was so excited. I just wanted, wanted to do the swap. I forgot to remove this rubber feet easy and then just use this guy here unscrew this I was watching other guys doing that so hopefully I'm gonna do the same 
try to resemble them or copy them. Mm -hmm. Okay, remove that. Mm -hmm. And then open the box and exchange, physically exchange the drive. And now because we have a very good program which can partition and everything, because we have full program, not just a free version, it limits you to what you can do. We're gonna do and Crack this open. That's a plastic, which is soft. This is soft, so it's gonna be damaged easier than uh, the other stuff, right? But that's the thing. We want to do that instead of damaging the main stuff. Mm -hmm. Where's the other thing? There you go. So it's good thing it's not glued, right? There is no glue. Relatively easy. You can even use your fingernails, right? break it I want to assemble it nicely later uh -huh. this is a little bit stuck here okay that's easy there you go finally the thing is that should be yeah. Uh, that's the. That's the. Looks like oh. Looks like this is protected. Okay. Ideally, we should take this battery off, but you know what? I'm not gonna do it. Just gonna go directly and remove this screw here. and then remove this guy here completely there you go so that's the old one old and now we're gonna take this apart old one put this one away and then take this unlock it in the middle and take this one out <laughs> needs to be in the middle I guess okay now it unlocks just pull it out and that's the new one new one one terabyte and it should be copied and then we're gonna put it inside this thing here there you go we're gonna see how it goes oh, okay it goes like this okay it goes like this so we're gonna shove it in like this and align it with this screw, small screw. And you know what? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna first make sure that's aligned properly. Because if, if it doesn't go nicely, then it's not gonna work right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes that way. So, yeah. And last chance to put it back. Let's just do this. And you know what? I'm not gonna even put the cover back because if it doesn't work, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna open it, put it down, and see if it's working. Samsung! Oh, it works! Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Samsung Galaxy. Come on. Yeah. You know, everything works. Yeah. Good. So, I will have to fix this thing because I want everything to show up. Not just to have a 159 free. See, shows me only 460 gig, but that's okay. I will find a way how to how to fix it. But everything else is preserved. See, my original movies and everything everything works just uh, <laughs> I will have to do Screenshots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Test before. See, that's how much it shows me how much I had. Like it took me 14 minutes and 31 seconds to finish that movie. I'm gonna do the same thing, and then I'm gonna compare it. Yeah, I'm gonna go open just to see how it performs kids screaming <sighs> hmm. good so it does work mm -hmm. still didn't put the cover because I want to check is everything working then I'm gonna be working on the recovery of the I just I'm gonna do the same thing with the same idea no 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 that one open my power DVD and do exactly the same thing so go here pull this one down and produce it and just to see how much time it's gonna take to be produced there and hit the produce button and then see how much time I will get because with the, exactly the same with the previous hold card 
this one here. It took me original 512. It took me 14 minutes and 31 seconds. And now we're gonna see how much is it gonna be with uh, this one. Is it gonna be any faster? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. let's see because if we don't have it any faster so what's the point of upgrading this one finished with the old card 1431 and then we're gonna see what other one is doing 67 the first time was 66 <laughs> so we're gonna leave it when it's done we're gonna be doing analyzing testing both of them when it's done in about 15 minutes so don't tell me it's gonna be slower than the old one <laughs> but it works and then uh, we still need to work on the Actually, maybe because it doesn't recognize the whole disk it's not all go it's not gonna be any faster but that's a good thing we'll see okay I realized it's not fair comparison uh, this test it is a 1 minute and 28 seconds exactly same footage and this is already over 14 minutes and it's only on ends at 77 but the thing is it's not fair because this one is without this uh, cover and you can see it measures like 74 50 at the, at the site where is the hard drive or the card 50 and where is the processor is 4074 so I will have to either stop it because I'm gonna burn it or just go to the throttle and put the high performance mode to see is it gonna help because if I put it in a high performance mode it should work faster but most of uh, most important thing it's gonna get some cooling because fan is gonna be on now fan is on and this is 67 now processor and it's 49 for the see 69 and 48 so it is cooling now let's see how it works now because I forgot because I didn't put the cover that's gonna be <laughs> it's not gonna be a fair comparison right now it runs faster but it's already 16 minutes and it still didn't finish so it appears that the new cart <laughs> is working slower than the old one and it shouldn't be that way right now it works much faster because it it's cooling so I should have put the cover in the back and then do the test so I'm gonna do another test and then I'm gonna compare it so this is not not, not fair comparison <laughs> at the end but it does work and that's good only thing I have to finish is see it's done now it's done so 17 minutes right so it's I'm gonna have to put it together and then it's gonna be better I have to put it together and then it's gonna be good 
at least now you know it works so in order to put it together just wanna measure one more time 51 44 50 so that's good 40 50 I'll have to shut it down first then I'm gonna assemble it Shut it down, and it works. Now we're gonna reassemble it. But that's it, it works. That's what's important. So now we can put the cover back. Yeah, actually I wanted to show this. There is a damage, right? Because it's soft plastic, but that's the, that's the thing. You want to have damage on this tool rather than damage on this. So we're gonna do the quite the opposite. So everything is nice and working. That's good. Now we're gonna put this first, this end first there. Gonna press it together and then we're gonna press this end together easy quite easy good good Good, 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 good and tight. And put the screws back. And put these things back. And voila. Everything is nice. Right? Right. And then I should do the test. Do the test. you're gonna put it to no fan just because I like it and now we have extra but it works mm -hmm. 460 we'll have to fix this needs to instead of 460 needs to show the hole <laughs> I need to hold the shoulder. The whole da 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 da. Disk management, right? Let's see what's gonna be. Now we have only one new volume. Blah 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 blah. Four sixty. Oh, I see what he does. This partition, basic NTFS. Mm -hmm. We'll fix it, because I think one of the thing is two, because we want to have that 930 something megabyte not only 460 <laughs> but we're gonna do that later first I want to shut it down and put the screws back and put this thing in so but as you can see everything is now oh here is not completely so you need to just press a little bit harder and that's it no damage whatsoever 
and put the screws back. And that's it. Okay. And that's important to have a cover back because especially if you don't use it in a fun mode like if you use it in fun less mode then you need to have that passive cooling this is a uh, like the the surface which gonna just uh, dissipate the heat better yeah No fan, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what's that? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, the fermentation thing, what we ordered. Yep, Paragon Disk Manager. Scan volumes. See new volume four sixty. So I mean, still don't understand how that all works because I'm very new in this thing. But it shows here nine hundred and thirty one point fifty one gigabyte basic GPS and then volume. Mm -hmm. hmm. So what would happen if we just take this old drive and put it back here, right? Goes this way, so we put the old drive here. Wiggle it, push it back, and then Use this to lock it. And then check is the new drive working? Old drive and a new thing. And it works. And that's the thing we have now. Volume yet one and volume two. Let's see, one forty nine, one fifty eight. Huh. Exactly the same. Copied. So, what would happen? We have this drive just the windows with everything, right? What would happen if we just, because we have this drive, USB 3, that's local disk 9, right? 494, 460. If we just go into pictures and go saved pictures, I actually do have that saved already on this drive. 
on, a, on this drive. We do have a safe pictures right there. We everything have already saved because we copied it. So we can basically do this. We can go like this. And unmount this. Okay. Unmount it. It's ready. So we take this one, this one works, and then we go into recovery mode, right? We press here, uh, reset. Reset PC, and then reset PC. Keep my files, remove everything. This won't take a long. Cloud download, lock or reinstall from this device. Next. Plug in your player. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera and plug this one here. So I wanna just fresh start. If something goes bad, I still have this drive. So I can boot it from the, this, or I can just play around with this because I have original one because I want to reclaim my space, remove all personal files, blah, 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 reinstall Windows from this device, reset. And now we're going to have a fresh copy of the Windows. And we're going to have one terabyte, not 460. We'll see. Will we or will we not have? that we will see 89 percent installing 96 percent installing so roughly half an hour after we have a freshly new installed operating system windows 11 brand new fresh from the start and of course we should have any problems fixed everything formatted and uh, reclaimed our one terabyte hard drive original hard drive is still here as a backup nice hand warmer USB C 3 1 there you go <laughs> after I finish this now we're gonna see did we succeed and reclaiming the whole 930 something megabyte or a gigabyte, I mean one terabyte new hard drive SSD. Hi again, silly me. Well, I'm still learning. Actually, I had to do it from the beginning in the hope that I'm gonna have like, by setting up, resetting the one more time, I'm gonna reclaim my uh, hard drive, newly installed hard drive, but actually didn't happen. What I should have done is this, put it together, like, and then copy what I did and do this and press this one and expand. And then choose both these and then capacity of the new volume will be 455. The visitor can expand it to 892 next. And then, see, I'm going to have a new volume. Nine, three, one. Expanding volume. So hopefully now I'm gonna reclaim what I lost. Right? 
because this is same 460 460 but I don't still don't see that 931 51 well, obviously one terabyte is here but I still need to learn how to use that Paragon hard disk manager in order to fully use the card or the new hard drive SSD hard drive installed <clears throat> But the good thing it's working and it's no harder problem it's softer problem and my knowledge problem so i need to get used to the system and then fully use it not just 476 or here 460 460 which is copied but the full 931. restart the computer right Finalizing changes, please wait. Good. Restarting. Let's see what's gonna happen now. <clears throat> because it's it's a funny and stupid and silly, whatever you want, uh, to put the bigger, faster, <laughs> the card or the hard drive, and then don't use it. So it's a matter of uh, uh, all right, so zero, please wait. 1994-2019. Okay, flashing system buffers, please wait. Mm -hmm. So it's just gonna combine what I think, expand that one or two into one bigger one. Well, we will see. Hello, everyone. Uh, day two. Back to <laughs> swapping. So basically, finally, I did it. So finally, I have a two different things. So one partition and a second partition. In that second part partition, I have 681 gigabyte, 731, but 681. Uh, this is binary and this is a decimal. <clears throat> anyway, together it's a 930 gigabyte or one terabyte and the old drive just gonna use as a, as, a, as you can see it's gonna pop up and I want to demonstrate that everything works good <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm just gonna show you improved speed I'm gonna take one of the original videos and like this one and just transfer it copy to original videos here and then you're gonna see how it goes very very fast <laughs> it's amazingly fast so and that's from this thing here into here. Just choose a little bit bigger video. Uh, actually, why don't choose all of them? Uh, like this, or maybe, yeah, original videos. We're not gonna cut it, we're just gonna copy it copy it and then put into this original videos and then we're gonna have more time see 380 390 385 megabyte a second that's a lot it's over 90 gigabyte it takes about four minutes and the speed is amazing
speed is uh, around 360 takes so much faster and that's the original idea mm -hmm. Three fifty, three sixty. Mm -hmm. It's very fast. Anyway, <coughs> everything was possible due to this thing here, which I downloaded, and it's called. Uh, this the fragmenter oh, where is it now no that's a windows based program i just wanted to have a look at now i created 1250 and 16181 that's this one actually yeah the basic idea so why it took me so long it took me so long because that was a flaw a problem with the Samsung data migration program and I didn't realize it took me like three or four times to do it and I'm successful each time and then I realized uh, it doesn't work and its program I found uh, some reviews online <clears throat> and I bought that uh, disc I cannot find it now I couldn't sleep but uh, yeah Paragon hard disk that's one here and that's amazing program because because of this program it was $120 Canadian full version you have a free version to run it but then you're limited uh, with the amount of uh, partition you can make and uh, with other stuff I just wanted to pay uh, original version and to have whole program full potential of it and it took me a while to learn how to do it now it's loading slower because it's having this thing working at the same time <laughs> so it does work fast here but it takes time from this guy to load yeah it dropped down to 339 megabyte actually that's pretty good consistent too I just wanted to show that this thing is working Come on, 40 seconds. I think that one also finished. Yeah, it did. So it takes a little bit more. So this is, this is the Samsung Halo original one, 476, and that's the one I created. It was a little bit just a, a kind of, a, what do you wanna do? It ask you you just choose and then it's ask you what do you want to do do you want to convert do you want to merge do you want to and I didn't know how to use it but now I kind of know and I decided by reading that it's better to make partition one big fun for the widows and one for the operating system and just do the my editing system in this bigger one just <clears throat> because you don't want to if something happens in here you have 250 gigabyte and operating system and here it's just for the videos and of course i i want to do the original videos which are 100 megabits and produced videos which uh, will be 60 megabits per second now it's done 
now I'm gonna open this operating system uh, my uh, <coughs> uh, power DVD 20 and then I'm gonna go to uh, videos original videos uh, this particular guy open it right and then I'm gonna try now put it here and then do produce thing like the first time and then we're gonna have like first time I had the 14 minutes for the exactly same footage of 1 minute and 28 seconds now you're gonna see how long it's gonna take that footage. I chose X A V C S and I chose best possible which is 380-40 by 2160, 60 megabits per second and enable and start. So we're gonna see now is it gonna be working faster? or slower 12 minutes yep it's gonna work faster it must work faster with the original it took me for the same footage 1 minute and 28 seconds and 50 it took me about 14 minutes and it looks now it's gonna be 14 minutes too so if it's that the case then the real improvement it's not the speed of the new ssd but just the <coughs> pure capacity which is double and that's okay too because this i learned how to <coughs> i'll do the partition but yeah it seems to be it's gonna be exactly the same if not even slower yeah and this is the same 45 percent the battery i just want to uh give it the same condition and then i'm gonna see how it works because this time is working on much bigger drive right it has a 500 and 500 gigabyte from 681 just for the videos and this is for operating system and it's this other one. I'm gonna dismount this USB 3 now. That's it. And this is a nice little case to carry around. But there you go. I finally su succeeded. But unfortunately, 12, uh, 14 and 2, I don't think it's going to be any speed boost uh, doing editing other than, as I said, uh, just the pure size of it from 512 to 1024 gigabyte. But that's, that's okay too because transfer speed is better. I have this thing here, extra hard drive and uh, yeah I don't think it's gonna be it's if, 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 even if it's gonna be slower see 14 13 and 2 is 15 almost 16 actually yeah I should this one have a picture still. I should have. Oh, I don't because yeah, I don't because I restarted the whole whole system. So I need to go into this and look under pictures, saved pictures. Mm -hmm. Pictures. Save pictures. Working on it. 
Good. Working very fast. Yeah. That's before test. Right. Test before. Oh, okay, okay. User benchmark. Okay. But I wanted to have a screenshot of this guy here. How long did it take to finish that the same footage? So same footage. 128, 1 minute 28 seconds was done in 14 minutes and 31 seconds. Mm -hmm. And this one. Well, and four, <laughs> even less. So that means my original disk, hard disk or SSD card works a little bit faster, or used to work than this one. That's kind of, mm -hmm. let's see. <laughs> Put it like this because of what I think I did it like this. Move the car. Uh, the... Yeah, it doesn't. It's not any dramatically hotter, but definitely it takes more time. Like 15 minutes, 35 percent, right? This was done in 40 minutes. This is already showing five, and it's only 10. Hmm. Looks like it's gonna be longer. There you go. <laughs> so finally, I realize what is happening when I do this, and when I measure, it's 40, 40, right? So it's even uh, not so hot like it used to be compared to first time. See, I measure over there, where is it? And it shows like 41. It used to be 43. And now it works much faster because it was a cooling because I'm doing it with a no fan solution. So it's throttling down. <clears throat> but now it's good now it's gonna be almost the same i think it's gonna be very very same so it's gonna be the same amount <clears throat> of video footage so no rendering speed any benefit from the new drive but just a more capacity so it should be done any second 96 and yeah gonna compare when it's completely done but I think it's gonna be the same and uh, <clears throat> I'm using this tent position because it's cooling property is much easier it's it's better to cool it and then run maximum fast at no fan mode so 14 minutes and Yeah, 14.08. Okay, 14.08. Let's see. So, exactly 14.08. And let's see this footage. Mm -hmm. That was a test before. So, and that one is 14.31. <laughs> so, I do have a 20 five seconds i think no 1431 and this one and 1408 right slightly slight improvement in speed but it's really nothing 1408 and 1431 that's like a half minute that's nothing <clears throat> anyway main thing is i have more space and I have original see and that's a produced 
move it not here mm -hmm. let's see no changes oh. new untitled projects mm -hmm. it did save the project okay produced videos mm -hmm. and I think it's still here no, that's not there. Where is it? Where did it put it? Documents. I think it put it here in the Cyberlink Power Director. Produce. Yeah. Yeah, I did. It. Uh, this is gonna be 60 percent not 60 but uh, 60 60 megabits per second mm -hmm. mm, I think it would speed up the whole system because if I did choose to put it original that's original and produced main idea to put it in produced here I might shave a couple of seconds more if I put the export file when I go into the produce videos because they're gonna be same on this <coughs> than on this one where, where it's mixed with the, with the operating system yeah that's I'm gonna do that but anyway it's not bad <coughs> whole process is done and I, I finally did it I did it myself right no apparent damage apparent damage for opening everything looks good and sharp that's important and as I said it runs even cooler if not the same then it's a little bit cooler and plus it gives me everything I wanted gives me that extra piece external hard drive and gives me more room to play and plus I did spend a lot of money kind of almost $400 Canadian in that <clears throat> but I have extra knowledge and I have, I have extra pro program uh, which uh, do partitions and transfer from one drive to another drive just in case next time I do that now I know how to do it much better and it's not just a matter of knowing but it's a matter of actually it is knowledge this is everything power is knowledge and power is everything <clears throat> I spent so much time trying to do over and over again with the Samsung uh, data migration which didn't work for this particular in my case but uh, that's why I said I have better understanding and better knowledge after playing with the partition left and right and merging and deleting and trying again and plus I have a new system refreshed Windows 11 thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye